been about four months since I've shown this tank. Figured I would uh, show a couple of the additions I had have put in there. Um, you can see here, the Lima Cat still doing great. Um, these guys all, if they look a little bit fat, they just got fed and did a little shrimp for them. Um, I've got right here, I've got the uh, Red Terror. Pretty small fish right now. Um, if I was to guess, he's probably about three to four inches. Uh, the Bradori, or Bradori Eye. Um, I had one of these a couple years back and didn't make it, so I uh, really like these guys. This guy's an absolute hog. Eats anything that I toss in the tank. Um, yeah. oh, got Lima coming through. Lima is doing great too. Um, he was one of the rare fish that I had that survived that uh, tank uh, tank wiping out. Um, he's not really survived, but doing really well. I uh, got the green terror in here, so I have green and red terror. Um, uh, this was my rescue catfish. I, don't know if I told the story this last time. He was he's got a good size to him. Um, he was in like a ten gallon tank at the local fish store for probably three four weeks that I was kept going back. He was fifteen bucks, and um, finally I just was like, for fifteen bucks, I'll just take him. Um, he does. He and the uh, Lima catfish fight a lot. It's pretty. It's actually pretty entertaining. Um, I've got the the two uh, peacock bass still. Um, the one on the, the one on the top. Uh, today was his first day actually taking shrimp, so that was good. Otherwise, it's always been earthworms. Um, so it's good to get him on that. Um, still have the Raphael catfish tucked away in there. You can kind of see the underside of them. Never really see him come out. Over here, the uh, Lancer cat. He's really adding some nice size. Likes to hang out with this heater. Um, for, for whatever reason, he never gets burnt, but um, it's really one of my favorite fish. He's really cool looking. Um, when I drop pellets in, um, I, I, I can drop them right down on him. It goes crazy for him. Um, I've got up the top the uh, pole and I. Um, like I said, I just fed these guys uh, and I went to my daughter's uh, holiday dance at, the, at her school. So I had the lights off. I came in, turned them on, and uh, so he's up there kind of sleeping. Same with this uh, Nicaraguan. Uh, doesn't really do justice when I. He's very small. Um, big enough that he doesn't get eaten, but small fish. Um, like I said, these guys here, I'm about to do a water change on it. Figured I'd take a take a second show you guys everything. Um, I really like the I like what I have here. Um, I like the collection of it. There's enough activity that you know makes the tank interesting, but there's not you know the overcrowding that I you know that I've had in before. It's just an interesting selection of fish, and I really don't see myself adding a whole lot to this. Um, Obviously the peacock bass, I'll be pushing them into the 265 when they get bigger. Um, the lima, he's going to stay in here just because the azul just beats the shit out of them. Um, there's just no getting around it. I, I don't know what the deal is with it, but you put them over in the 265 and the azul just goes to town on them. So he's going to stay in here. But that's about it, guys. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Like I said, I don't do videos like I used to. Um, but I do appreciate the ones that do comment and uh, you know, watch the vids. So thanks for that. Take care. Remember, they're just stupid fish videos. Uh, have a good Christmas if I don't make another video. Take care.